in-depth coverage of campaign 2012, President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney face off in their first televised debate. They sparred on domestic issues, including jobs and the economy. Both men hope to sway undecide, undecided voters. And what is a tight race for the White House? Hi, with Sue supporter Jennifer Mobilia joins us with in-depth coverage live in the studio. Well, Mike and Susan, there's only five weeks left until voters head to the polls. And tonight, President Barack Obama and his Republican challenger, Mitt Romney, faced off in Denver in the first of three televised debates in the race for the White House. More than 50 million viewers were expected to tune in tonight to watch the president and former Massachusetts governor debate the issues important to Americans. Topping that list, the economy, health care, jobs, and other national issues. While Obama holds a lead in several key battleground states. The race nationally has been locked in a dead heat for months, and tonight's debate offered an opportunity for either candidate to gain momentum. President Obama, however, had to explain to voters why unemployment is so high and economic recovery so slow. Meanwhile, Romney laid out his plan to lower taxes and the national deficit. I think we've got to invest in education and training. I think it's important for us to develop new sources of energy here in America, that we change our tax code to make sure that we're helping small businesses and companies that are investing here in the United States, that uh, we take some of the money that we're saving as we wind down uh, two wars uh, to rebuild America, and that we reduce our deficit in a balanced way that allows us to make these critical investments. Under the president's policies, middle-income Americans have been buried. They're, they're just being crushed. Middle-income Americans have seen their income come down by $4,300. This is a tax in and of itself. I'll call it the economy tax. It's been crushing. At the same time, gasoline prices have doubled under the president. Electric rates are up. Food prices are up. Health care costs have gone up by $2,500 a family. Middle-income families are being crushed. And so the question is how to get them going again, and I've described it. It's energy and trade, the right kind of training programs, balancing our budget, and helping small business. Those are the, the cornerstones of my plan. Now, October 11th, the vice presidential candidates will debate. Then October 16th and the 22nd, the presidential candidates will take up the issues yet again, hoping to persuade those undecided voters before the November 6th general election. I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.